Hello, it's Eno. This time, we will deliver logistics news for late July 2024. We will explain the latest information in the maritime industry, including trends in ocean freight rates and additional tariffs by the US government on Mexico and so on. So, let's get started. Has the rise in ocean freight rates peaked? While ocean freight rates had been increasing, we are now seeing a downward trend in some areas. According to data by the Shanghai Shipping Exchange on July 12, while rates for shipments from Shanghai to Europe are on the rise, those to the Mediterranean, North America, and South America are all declining. The rate for Europe-bound shipments recorded the $5,000 level for the first time since August 2022. On the other hand, rates for shipments to the west coast of North America fell by 5.5% to $7,654 per FEU, and those to the east coast fell by 0.6% to $9,881 per FEU. On the main routes, from Shanghai to North America, new routes are continuously being developed and new container ships are being introduced. Additionally, the stabilization of inventory buildup by retailers seems to be a factor in the decline in ocean freight rates. However, there are still concerns. Worsening weather conditions at the Cape of Good Hope are causing delays, and there have been accidents where containers have fallen into the sea. Furthermore, there are reports of potential strikes as the labor agreements on the U.S. East Coast approach their expiration and potential strikes at Canadian ports and railways. Although high ocean freight rates are still observed, it remains uncertain whether the downward trend will continue. Waiting offshore at Asian ports expand to 2.24 million TEU. Currently, the shipping market is disrupted, and one of the reasons is congestion at Asian ports. Especially, congestion at the port of Singapore, a major transshipment port, has become significant. Currently, there is a 3-5 to five day offshore waiting at the port of Singapore and congestion is expanding to other major East Asian ports, such as Shanghai and Busan. As of the end of June, 2.24 million TEU worth of vessels worldwide are reportedly waiting offshore. The congestion at Asian ports is severe, with Southeast Asia accounting for 23% and North Asia for 20% of the total offshore waiting. In response to this congestion, one of the latest automated container terminal berths at Singapore's Tuas port, initially planned to be operational later this year, has started operations from July. While this is expected to alleviate congestion, it is difficult to eliminate the offshore wait once it has occurred, and it is strongly believed that it will be prolonged. July, August, and September are the peak seasons for maritime transport, and we are just at the beginning of this period. There are concerns about continued space shortages and further congestion during the peak season. A notable feature of the current congestion is its prevalence at transshipment ports. Congestion at transshipment ports means that planned connections to subsequent ships cannot be made, resulting in further delays while waiting for the next connection. As a result, there is increased interest in the demand for direct ships. U.S. government imposes 25% additional tariff on steel via Mexico. On July 10, the Biden administration announced a 25% additional tariff on steel imported from Mexico that has not been melted and cast in the United States, Mexico, or Canada. The U.S. has been imposing additional tariffs of 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum, but imports from Mexico had been exempt from these tariffs. This has led to an increase in cases where steel is exported from China to the U.S. via Mexico to avoid tariffs. China's real estate slump, steel exports have increased significantly. Therefore, the U.S. sees cheap Chinese steel as a threat to its own industry, leading to the current measure. In the U.S. presidential election, slated for November this year, Trump is considered a strong candidate, and if he wins, U.S.-China trade friction could intensify. Additionally, with Trump's campaign promise in the 2016 election to build a border wall with Mexico, future U.S. actions towards Mexico and China are drawing attention. MSC to build two new 14,000 TEU ships. Impact of fleet expansion on the market. MSC, the world's largest shipping company by volume, has announced the purchase of two new 14,000 TEU ships. As of June 8, MSC's operating capacity was nearing 6 million TEU, accounting for about 20% of the world's container ship operating capacity. The company is currently in the 2M alliance with Maersk, but plans to exit the alliance by the end of January next year and operate independently from February. 
MSC's strategy of fleet expansion gives it an advantage in addressing space shortages compared to other shipping companies amid the current turbulent maritime market. Currently, to avoid the Suez Canal, some vessels are navigating via the Cape of Good Hope, adding about two weeks to the journey time and exacerbating space shortages. There is also offshore waiting at Asian ports, such as Singapore and Busan. However, it remains uncertain how MSC's fleet expansion strategy will play out when the market normalizes. The two newly constructed ships are scheduled to be completed in the latter half of next year. Much attention will be paid to whether MSC's strategy will be successful or if an oversupply of vessels will lead to a surplus. How did you find this logistics news update? While the previously rising ocean freight rates are showing temporary stabilization, issues such as congestion at Asian ports and potential strikes in labor negotiations on the U.S. East Coast remain. We will continue to provide updates with the latest information. That's all for now. Thank you very much. In this channel, I explain about international logistic knowledge for your better understanding. I hope this video will be a good support for your logistic job. If you have any shipment from Thailand or to Thailand, please feel free to contact me in Inosan anytime. Also, I am very motivated to keep updating these videos. If you subscribe, press good or comment anything. Well, thank you. See you next time.